What is up guys, Zach Scott here, playing Plants vs. Zombies Heroes, and today we're going to be showcasing the Headhunter. He costs 4, he's a 3-4, he's a dancing mustache zombie. When you play a dancing card, do 2 damage to the plant hero. It has dancing evolution of, this gets, this gets plus 2, plus 2 in Bullseye. Uh, with it only costing 4, I think it would be useful in a lot of different decks. Uh, I took a look at the decks to see what, it actually, uh, what actually featured this particular card. If we take a look at, um, oh, which one was it? It was a, da a Dancing Among the Stars actually features four of him. Uh, so this deck has been updated. Uh, so it includes the binary, binary stars and two headhunters. Uh, and four headhunters. And uh, we're going to get to see what all happens here. This has overshoot of three infusion. A zombie played on here gets overshoot of three. That's pretty cool. And so uh, just you know, taking a look at what all is in this deck, it looks like we're going to have some overshoot. looks like we're going to have... Uh, you know, some dancing looks like ultimately, you know, hopefully when you when when uh, you play a dancing card do two damage to the plant hero could be cool um, So I'm gonna use this deck also. I took a look at uh, The Z mech it's dancing machine deck had two of them in it So what I did is I think I took away two of the binary stars maybe and I put him in it. Is that what I did? Yeah, I took away two of the binary stars let me take away one of these and one of the binary stars. That way it's not too different. And uh, we have four of those in there. That looks pretty cool. So I ramped up, you know, ramped up that. That's pretty cool. Uh, and then I couldn't believe it, but the Electric Boogaloo did not have him in any deck. So I took the Dance Dance uh, Zombolution deck. And I basically decreased some of the upper level stuff and then added in um, so many, how many? Four of him there. So we have... You know, several different uh, decks to try out today, uh, all each with four headhunters. We're going to go ahead and go with uh, this one first, the Dance Dance Zombolution with the headhunters in it. And we're going to take this into some ranked battles, and then we're going to do the challenge today. We're going to have a lot of fun. Here we go. All right, so this is basically the Dance Dance Zombolution deck, but it has four headhunters in it. And that's a wonderful start. Everything costs one. <laughs> I don't know how wonderful that is. I could burn through those cards pretty quickly. Uh, but I just went ahead and took it because why not? I'm gonna start. This is cool because when you, when you play a zombie, this gets plus one plus one. I don't want him hurt, so I'm not gonna put him in the middle lane. This destroys a damaged plant, and I get to draw a card. Don't know what to do about it exactly, but you know that could get out of hand if Lexus Summer lets it. Ooh, watch out! Here we go. Yeah, there's probably gonna be a P behind it. I don't know. Let's find out. Uh, I'm gonna put this here, and then yeah, I'm, I am gonna put this in the middle. So I hope that she doesn't put a P behind it, but if she does put a P behind it, she's gonna be inclined to, because uh, she has the torchwood there. But then I still have my other two people doing damage, so. Oh wow, bounce random zombie. She may not put it at all. Okay, that's fair. Oh, still the P goes behind it. Yikes. That's okay. All right, so how do we want to handle this? So this is cool because uh, when revealed, do one damage. So I think I'm going to do this. Uh, I'm going to put this here. Wait. I'm going to put her here. No. Dang. Actually, this is the way we're going to do it. I'm going to put that there. Here we go. Wish me luck. So I have a plan to remove that. You'll see it in action. Yikes. Ugh. Oh man. Um This one. And then I'm going to destroy the torchwood. And we cancel out here. And I win in this lane, but I'm pretty weak. I'm a 4-1 now. Uh, so same type of situation. This guy goes here. She goes here. And then I'm putting her down here to do another one damage. I don't know to who yet, but we'll figure it out as it happens. That's a 6-3. She's definitely going to want to play there. The one damage won't matter too much. There we go, one damage to that. There you go, get out of here. And then my far right one survives as well. Those are not blocked, and then the seven, there you go. 
So next up, I get to put down an overshoot lane, overshoot of three. This is going really well for me. I haven't drawn a headhunter yet, so we might have to just, you know, try another round regardless if I win or lose this. It's very possible a lot of my things just got out of hand, so we'll see. Overshoot of three is gonna be great. I don't know what Lexus Summer is gonna do. Uh, so let's see. <clears throat> I wonder if she disconnected. It's possible she disconnected. Some people don't know what the concede button is or where it is. If you ever want to concede, it's in, you just hit the gear over here. I don't want to click it because I'm afraid I'll accidentally hit concede. <laughs> but I'm going to win this one probably. I didn't get to draw a headhunter, so next time I will, hopefully. And we can use it within this deck. That was pretty crazy, but pretty awesome. I got, a, I guess, a pretty good hand to start out with. Yep. There we go. Victory, though. All right. And I got 150 tickets because I had the boost on there. That's pretty good. All right. And I might actually level up to 17. I'm not sure. Yeah, there we go. There we go. So now I'm level 17. And we will uh, we'll try again next round to play uh, the Headhunter. All right. Let's do it. This guy's level 20. That's too expensive. This guy uh, is also too expensive, really. There's a headhunter, perfect. Two headhunters, great. Let's see how this works. Oh, nice. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start here. Then next round, I'm gonna do Disco Knot. And then if he blocks anything, oh, yikes. Why did I play, that's fine. Do three damage to a plant, that's fine. Here we go. This thing dances, by the way. I can put two out here. But let's wait, let's be patient, because what if, what if he plants something there and I could do three damage to it and keep it alive, you know? Perfect, see? Look at that. Do three damage to a plant. I'm alive! Round three. Similar situation, I imagine. Headhunter will be next. Dancing Evolution. This gets Bullseye and Tutu. So I'll probably use that Evolution. Two damage to you. And then boom, and then boom. So we get to, sh we get to see his Evolution this turn, which is really cool. Um, so check it out. The Evolution. Plus two, plus two, and Bullseye. That's pretty good, right? So he's now a 5-6 with Bullseye. That's gonna be on the Chomper's radar, obviously. So Chomper's gonna have to do something about it. The other thing I wanna showcase about this is when I play a dancing card, I do two damage direct to him. Ooh, wow, that's fine. That's a lot of damage. So let's see how this works. So this will be another dancing card. Actually, I'm gonna do two of these dancing cards because uh, this is uh, start of turn all dancing zombies get plus two. Actually, let me do this. This is more interesting to me, I guess. And then I'll do this again. Here we go. Another two damage, and since it's bullseye, there we go. He only has three health. He's gonna have to heal. And if he heals, uh, do that much damage to the zombie hero, sure. This is a lot of bullseye damage. Uh, you know, using his evolution is crucial because then you do unblocked damage to him for every dancing card. And we have a lot of dancing cards in here. If I play two more dancing cards, as long as these guys are out, if I play one more dancing card with both of them out, he's gone. He's probably gonna heal, right? Heal four, draw a card, that's okay. Thankfully, I stay in. I'm gonna do four unblocked damage to him. Here we go. 
Yeah, oh man, so close to just a, a all out victory next turn. We'll see what happens. If I have another one of those, it would be amazing. I don't know if I do, I don't, but. So, you know, what are we gonna do? I'm gonna play this. There we go, he only has one health left. No blocking because of all the bullseye. I don't think he can block all four lanes, but let's see what he has up his sleeve. He does have enough cards. If they're all low cost enough, he could block. Victory! Man, that is a good legendary card. We're gonna try out a different deck. That worked out just great. I believe the Headhunter, man, that was, that was incredible. I'm glad I made this deck because I couldn't believe that this deck was, didn't have Headhunters in it because there's so many dancing cards, so many low cost dancing cards, so many opportunities to evolve the Headhunter, so many opportunities to play that and do the direct damage. Uh, that's unblocked with bullseye so amazing. We're gonna switch now to another deck uh, we're gonna do um, Let's do the new dancing among the stars deck just the straight up one not I didn't alter this one and then we'll have another matchup All right, this guy's level 20. Let's see what we can pull off here This looks great a good start line uh, lots of cards. I can put out here. So that's cool Need those headhunters though Okay, waiting for the opponent to redraw starting cards. That's also not a bad idea. I'm gonna put this out here to start off with. This is a draw two card superpower trick. Let's see what we can really do. Okay, move. That's interesting. He's gonna conjure a banana. I don't know why she's he's moving. I guess he just wants to conjure the banana. Maybe no other real options. So, headhunter. This is good. I think this is good. Uh, I'm gonna start with, uh, I'm gonna put this here. And I'm probably gonna draw the two cards. Because next turn I'm gonna probably wanna do the aerobics instructor. We'll see how it goes. These things with bullseye, yeah, three damage, there we go. That's fine. My turn to do a draw two cards. Come on now. You can't do anything else, can you? This will make two dancing things, so. Draw two cards, interesting. When played on high turn environment, this is plus two, plus two. Oh, I don't know what I want to do. Um, you know, I guess I want to do this. Because it also has, does it have bullseye? No, not when it's 4-4. It doesn't have bullseye when it's 4-4, but still, that's not too bad. So that kind of takes away my evolution possibility. I was really kind of wanting that to that's okay. Uh, let's do this, and the reason, mm, no, let's do, this has overshoot of two, and I get to conjure a dancing card. So let's do that. And then next turn, hopefully I'll be able to pull off, yeah, I'll be able to pull off exactly what I wanna do with the headhunter, I think. Ooh, yikes, yikes. You know, I should have saved. Um, if only I would have saved. Anyway, that's fine. That's gone. I get hit once, and then once more and dead. And then I do the overshoot, and I also hit him for two. Okay. Ooh, man. I'm gonna put this guy here. I'm getting ready to play him. I'm just, I'm trying to save up for him. All right. There we go. I still have a uh, do two damage. Oh God. Well, I think I want to do it to, you know, it's really interesting who I want to do it to. I guess I would do it to him so he's not here next round. There we go. 
He's dead, unfortunately. Overshoot of two does not is not blocked because he has bullseye at the moment. I cleared the field. This is cool. Now check this out. Um, this is interesting. With three or less, have bullseye. So he's gonna have bullseye if I play this. Reach dancing zombie. I win with this. You know, when playing with the, uh, you know, any card that I showcase, there are often better options than to, than to play it. And I didn't think I had the best option to play it yet, so I c kind of held on to it. We've seen what he does already, but that was an example of me not feeling comfortable playing him. But we can we can try again with this deck if you want to. All right, we, we are still using the Dancing Among the Stars deck, and um, this guy is not that highly ranked. Uh, okay, this is interesting. I actually like this, this is kind of cool. Um, one question, random lanes, can they go into the fusion lane? That would be really, that's a real question. Uh, I'm gonna put that there. She has stuff that can make the ground floor weak. I don't want her weak. Interesting. All right. Here we go. I should have saved the heights for this guy, but I was just worried about what she would do to me. Okay, that makes sense. No complaints, really. Now I want to see if uh, if the fusion happens here, you know. So I'm gonna hold on to that. This is a little dance pad, disco dance for dancing science zombie with overshoot of three, and this fusion ability is a zombie played on this gets overshoot three. And I'm just curious if I happen to do the backup dancers, will one of them have the chance to be on there? And I, I that's I don't know. This is a uh, but hold on, do two damage. So let me just do this instead. <laughs> so there you go. So I still did the overshoot, which was cool. This will be a more definitive answer to this. Um, actually, let me go ahead and just do this. All right, lots of overshoot. I don't know where that headhunter is. So that guy's gonna transform. This is probably a really new player. Yeah, this is a new player. Okay. Well, let's use this to test out this. I, I might win right here, I don't know. No, nope, I'm not, thankfully. Okay. That makes sense. There we go. I want to test out this this thing here, and the only way I'm gonna know. Oof! Oh, what a what a transformation, huh? I'm gonna put this guy here. I'm gonna try to see if uh, you know if this guy will go up on there. I don't know. I want to see if I can even play it, and if I can, will it go up on the pad? Ah, oh, never mind. See, I, I told you about that happening. I might win with the overshoot. Oh, let's just see. No, I won't, because this guy's gonna damage me. All right, all right, it's okay. Overshoot of two, move that over here. I don't even know where the headhunter is, you know? I'm probably gonna win. I didn't even draw the headhunter this time. Even though there are four of them in this deck. We might just move on to the next deck, I don't know. You know what, I, I should have just used this directly on, I keep forgetting that this is, can be a direct hit thing. I could have already won. Let's just have some fun. Blocked. 
Hunter, draw two cards. No headhunters at all. And that's my victory right here with the overshoot. This deck is pretty good, as you can tell. I like to showcase the strategy decks because that's what a lot of people will aim for and play with. They may not do a lot of research and make their own. We could try another deck. Let's move on to the Z-Mech deck really quick. We're going to go and take a look at it. Uh, this will be... Uh, this will be the... The dancing machine, but I've altered it. So the original one only has two, but I altered it for four. So we're gonna select this one and have another matchup. All right, this guy's level 30. And this is the uh, Z-Mech uh, dancing machine number two deck. This could work, I don't know. We'll figure it out. Mm, nope. I'm gonna try to do something a little more complicated. Here we go. So I'm doing the disco dance floor. I hope to play uh, the disco knot on it. If not, yeah, he's getting rid of it quick. I knew he might be doing that. So here we go again. Now, I could give her plus five, but if she's still alive, then I might not. I might just go ahead and do, darn it, yeah, I'll do it. Lame. Uh, okay. So she's gonna take two damage, but then still continue doing damage. I hope he's still alive so I could do the headhunter. I don't know if he will be though. Nope. God. Well, let's just end it. This guy's doing a pretty good job controlling me. Which means his heavier stuff is coming out now. I don't even know if this has any environments in it, so I'm a little worried. This will be six, though. And then, uh, if I play this, that's gonna be decent, but I'm gonna do this. All right, here we go. I don't know what he's gonna do, we'll find out. He has two lanes set up for him to use and I'm not in those. So he's gonna wanna try, yeah, there you go. Here we go. He conceded already, wow! I beat a level 30. Oh my goodness, he knew both of those plants were gonna die. So, <laughs> oh, that was awesome. That was awesome, I kinda wanna show the case this deck again though. So there we go. Level up. Nicely done. Another 20, 20 gems. All right, this guy's only level five. Uh, I don't know, you know. We'll see how it goes. I don't, know if, I don't know if it should be easy on him or what. Hey, we got a headhunter though, that's cool. So let's see what we can do this round. I'm gonna start with that. I don't know what, I don't know what the P's gonna do, of course. Oh. 
So we're just kind of waiting. Okay. Oh, man. She's going to go with that strategy. I'm going to have to use uh, this two damage next turn. I might get frozen, though. Darn. Even with it, though, it's not going to be enough. All right. I'll do this. I don't know who's going to get frozen. Probably her. No. Wow. I was expecting ice. This guy's only level five, so he may not... You know what I mean? It may not really be... We could try this. We could um, basically try to use the fusion ability so he has both overshoot, overshot, and... Oh, man, really? No. <laughs> All right. These guys are too strong, so the bullseye is no longer in effect. But now, check this out. We're going to see him like this. Actually, in, uh, yeah, let's do it. So he's he's gonna have he's gonna have bullseye and overshot, and he's a five six, and that's just super cool. He has overshot. Uh, it doesn't say, but I'm pretty sure. I don't know how to view the thing under him. Play the snowdrop. I don't. I can't. I don't know how to read the thing under him. It doesn't show that he has overshot right here, but he has overshot. But I'm gonna win with this hit anyway. <laughs> That's just an idea of things that you could do. Um, hey, let's go ahead and do the daily challenge now. Let's go and try that out. Let's see what we got. Got two stars. Okay. And we're moving on. Oh, yeah. Next episode will hit rank 20, so that's kind of cool. Let's go and see what today's daily challenge is. An early access. I don't know why they say that. This particular plant's been out forever. Sporticus in this amphib amph amphibian <laughs> assault deck is incredibly powerful against decks with lots of tricks. Put him in Planet of the Grapes to draw lots of cards. So let's see if we can do that. This, I'm going to be Beta Caratina versus a Rust Bolt, a computerized Rust Bolt. So she has a thing where her tricks are cheaper, right? Yeah, her tricks cost one less. Oh my god, they're going to be like two less. So this is a Conjure 2 tricks. I'm going to do this. So even though he's going to have a lot of tricks, we're going to, you know. I'm a little worried. This is odd, but sure. Give me two tricks. All right. Hopefully I'll block one of these. He hasn't actually done any tricks yet. So all of his tricks are going to be ridiculously cheap. So let's just hope that uh, he does something here. He's going to get severely punished for each trick that he does, even if they're free. He's going to get minus three attack. And then attack twice. And that was it. It's eight to ten. Eight to nine. This is uh, zombie gets minus one, minus one. I think it's in my best interest to start focusing on these guys. All right. He's probably gonna block the next hit. Same with me. Move another plant or zombie. I'll keep it. I don't know. Blocked. Okay. So, you know, we're kind of in this weird position now where...
Did he not get buffed? Oh, he did. Okay, there we go. Wow. So he doesn't even do a trick. I might win this. No, not this round. I won't. He didn't do a trick. That's right. If he does a trick, he dies. Okay. Uh, I'm going to win right here because all I got to do is play a bean. And then I, then I win. Because he attacks for two. Victory for me. That challenge was not so bad. I didn't even, I mean, he didn't even play that many tricks, so that's okay. Victory for me. Daily challenge, 100 tickets. Uh, guys, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to come back next time for more. Uh, you know, we're playing Plants vs. Zombies Heroes. And I got uh, 20 damage to heroes as Beta Caratina. Nice. So very cool. Um, I just want to thank you once more for, for watching. Be sure to come back next time for more because we're going to be showcasing. If we take a look at the uh, the decks. Let's recycle the extras, sure. We went through. Let's just look at the legend. Uh, let's search for legendary. We're going to be showcasing a plant. Here we go. So last time we showcased the uh, Potato Saurus. Next time we're going to showcase. This one costs five, but it's the Bird of Paradise, a flower animal plant. Uh, this is amphibious. And at the start of a turn, conjure a superpower, which is going to be really crazy. Uh, could be very, very, very fun uh, as long as I get to play it. Uh, it costs five, though. We'll see what happens. Uh, I can't wait to showcase it. I'll see you next time for that. Goodbye. And uh, see ya. I'm Zach Scott. Subscribe if you have not. If you like this video and want to help this channel grow, all you got to do is click the like button below. Thanks so much for watching. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. This is Otto, Egon, and I'll see you next time for more.